You got a top secret game plan you can't can't share. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna hit him in the face <laughs> really hard as I can. <laughs> Don't tell him. It's been my game plan from day one for, for every fight. I'm just gonna punch him in the face as hard as I can. Sure. Time. We're ready. Hey, I'm Mitch Aguiar. I'm a professional MMA fighter. My fighter name is the Smashing Frog. The the average person when they hear my name is Smashing Frog, they probably think that's weird. <laughs> What's this guy? Does he smash frogs? I don't get it. That comes from my background in the SEAL teams. You know, we're frogmen, and and uh, in the ring, I'm super aggressive, and that's what I do: is smash people. So I'm the smashing frog. I've always loved fighting. I've always been a protective person growing up with my little brother and I took it as my job to protect him, you know, from bullies. And then it just kind of transferred into my adult life being in the SEAL teams. Like, now these are my brothers. So if anyone messes with them, then they're messing with me. So I joined a, uh, a gym and heard about this MMA fight league. And, uh, you know, I was like, oh, wow, I can sign up for a cage fight. So I, I signed up, did a fight, and, you know, it, I didn't plan on making a career out of it or anything like that. It was just, it was just fun. You can have anyone from an accountant to a grocery store worker to a Navy SEAL, you name it. All walks of life are in there. That, that little gold trident that I wear on my chest, isn't going to keep my opponent from punching me in the face. <laughs> so I'm proud of the 10 years that I served in the SEAL teams. Because it is a part of me, I'm bringing that into my next chapter. I'm not Mitch the SEAL Aguiar or whatever, I'm the Smash and Frog. I enjoy fighting for what it is. I enjoy the competition. I enjoy, you know, the the intensity, I enjoy one-on-one -on -one gladiator, warrior aspect of it. The weight cut to me is, has always been harder than the fight. I started at 210 pounds and I cut down to 170. My face starting to come back to normal. Yeah, my, my, I start to look like Skeletor. Yeah, your eyes are my, my eyes sunk, sink in, my cheekbones yeah. stick out real bad. And I weighed in yesterday at 170 and this morning I'm already back up to 195 pounds. And I'll be heavier by, by the fight tonight. Everywhere this fight goes, I will win. And I will dominate and he is going to get stopped at out to tomorrow. Mark my words. Question. That's your final answer. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to phone a friend? I think I'm going to be too big and too strong and too aggressive for my opponent. I think uh, I'm going to end up hitting him in the face as hard as I can and he's not going to like that. I'm, I'm excited. I just, I just can't wait for it to be time. I can't wait to unleash the frog. Um, I'm excited. I'm nervous that it's going to be boring. <laughs> Uh, with basketball, you know, when you lose, you just, you didn't put the ball through the hoop as many times as the other team. In fighting, when you lose, you literally get your ass kicked. <laughs> so, you really have to put your ego on the line every time you step in that cage. And you also have to be willing to lose because when you walk in there, you know, one of you is walking out victorious and one of you is walking out the loser. I want to be in there. I'm excited to go in there and I just get to unleash all this aggression I have built inside of me. My goal is to inflict pain and violence on you. Fighting is 90% mental and the other 10% is in your head. I think that with most things in life. Going through buds and doing things that are challenging and make you face adversity. When you stick, to, stick it out in those things and you get on the other side, the harder they are, the more confidence that instills in you. Then you take that confidence and you apply it to the next challenge. Whether it's you know going through buds or if it's 
you know, in deep waters in the fight. You're in the third round and you're tired and you want to just give up, but you got to keep going. I think everything, all the, all the difficult challenges in my life previous, you know, helped me with all the new ones. My next goal is to fight in the UFC and um, you know I'm not saying like I need to be the best ranked number one fighter in the world or anything like that uh, I would just I would like to fight in the UFC I think that would be a cool experience and after that you can't fight forever so I, I don't know what's next after after that but I'm sure it'll be fun and uh, I'm looking forward to whatever it is.